Hello everybody, good morning. And today, it's another year of Virginia City Grand Prix. Got the bike loaded up. Got the old feeder going. Warming up right now. And we're gonna cruise on up to Virginia City here in about maybe 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So it took us a little bit, but we got here. And this year I actually remember my boots, which is freaking great. <laughs> got boots. Um, so I just did reg. I got my numbers. I'm gonna be Mr. 423 off the line this year, Aaron Martin. Of course, we gotta put these on so we're all official like. Got full transponder installed, full tracking device. Tells them what my time is. So yeah, let's go ahead and put some stickers on. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. Okay, so we have about 20 minutes until we're supposed to start lining up. Got some people over to getting kind of rowdy. But everybody's kind of getting amped up and ready to go start lining up. Fortunately, I'm in the 400s. This is going to be a little bit before I have to go up there, which is great. It buys me a little bit of time. But yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good day for a ride. All right, so we're here on Main Street in Virginia City. You can see things are getting lined up. You can see down here, they made it easy for us to actually label it. So 400 start here. 423, so I'm gonna be starting back in here. And as it goes up, we'll go down to number one. Hey guys, it's me again. I'm back at the Virginia City Grand Prix for another ass whooping again this year. And uh, I'm definitely, at this point, looking forward to it. Later on, third lap in, not so much. <laughs> it was a good race. Uh, definitely had my fair share of frills and spills along with everybody else out there in the course. They had a rough time as well. But it was a good year to go out and have a ride and have an absolute blast. So looking forward to next year at this race. But for now, let's focus on this year, 2024. Let's go. like we're coming into our first big obstacle of the course you have a choice between left to right right here uh, left being easier right being the hard route and of course I choose the hard route last year I had a very difficult time doing this route I had a uh, tux tire on the back of the bike and it didn't seem like it hooked up oh look the racers already off course right now uh, but this year I have a nice Michelin on the back of the bike and like those thing just tractors right up the hill no problem uh, definitely just equipment for the win look another racer off the side oh my god yeah I'm happy uh, not being one of those guys here we go straight up the mountain not any issues 
so awesome. I love it. <laughs> As you can see, we're going up the mountain, not wasting any energy. You have to remember this race is not a sprint. This is absolute marathon. Unfortunately, these guys passing me, either they're pro racers or what, I don't know. I'm a weekend warrior at best. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to save my energy for the next three laps. Okay guys, so we're opening up into a little creek section here. This is actually probably one of my more favorite sections of the course. Uh, you got a lot of guys going from here kicking up rocks, dirt, mud, grit. It's actually a pretty tacky, slow section of the course. One of my favorites for sure. Um, so what do you guys think so far of the way the video is presenting itself? I know there's going to be a lot of parts of this video that I'm actually going to speed up and um, you know, try and get through the race, but there's just a lot of desert out here, and it is an hour lap time for me. Um, so it's just not <laughs> that quick of a race. So I figure I'd trim it back, save you guys a little bit of time. You still get to see the desert out there and uh, what goes on in the race, and I'll highlight the best moments and the funnest moments for me. And hopefully, if you decide to, please come join us next year. It'll be awesome. Uh, this year, I think. On today in particular, I think we had up to 500 racers. Uh, it was a pretty good time, honestly. A lot of a lot of people out there. A lot of people didn't finish. Uh, but overall, pretty good time. Uh, some of the stuff to note is uh, this race. I didn't even realize, but this race is pretty challenging. In fact, that the elevation of Virginia City is about 60, 100 feet. So it's pretty. You know, it's pretty easy to gas you up there like the altitude it by itself is going to take a lot of energy out of you and then the fact that it's a four hour race is going to take a lot of steam out of you as well um, so all these things are just kind of working against you uh, this whole race and it is the perfect storm if, if i will it is an awesome time got out at creek section and we're getting to more open desert here um, we take a left up here and we open up into a big rock section and you can see i'm getting passed by a lot of people that part is true but as you can see there's a lot of people off the side of the road that are absolutely struggling in this race and you'll see that a lot like if you pay attention to the video there's a lot of people that's having just a rough day uh, off the side of trail struggling I contributed part of that to the altitude that we're at. We're at 6,100 feet. It's pretty easy to get winded um, if you're not used to this elevation. And it's a pretty rough race overall. So my strategy, just, you know, pick a speed, keep trucking on, don't, don't waste any energy where I can, and just keep going as long as I can. 
yeah, this should be a good day. <laughs>
Okay, as I mentioned earlier, I'm starting to feel a little bit of fatigue, and of course, this is exactly what happens when you're getting a little bit fatigued in one of these races. You're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna fall down, it's gonna be a rough day, you're gonna fall on rocks. Thank God those comfy rocks are still there to cushion your fall. Either way, it's it's a rough ride. Uh, you just gotta hop back up, get on your horse, and uh, ride her on out. Um, that's probably my best advice for for this situation. Just roll off the punches. That's all it takes. Just roll off the punches. Kind of sucks. You see all these people passing me. You know, it is what it is. Um, when I finished this race, I did finish 100 positions up from where I had started. I ended it in the 300s. I think it was like 309 uh, over the finish line. Uh, so I did move up 100 positions from the 400s. So I consider that to be a pretty good achievement. Uh, overall, pretty good race. But yeah, I definitely need to work on being a little bit more flowy and faster in the whoops and uh, work on physical training for the fall on year. This is actually my number one most favorite part of this whole track. Uh, you go through this little creek here, get a lot of mud, water on your tires, and then as soon as you do that, you jump up on the road and you'll actually see a lot of people slip out, crash. It's uh, it's pretty hilarious. I always try not to cook this turn coming on the road. So I haven't fallen down yet, but I have, I've seen a lot of people do it. So. Favorite part, after that you come into a big straight stretch here and you get a ton of speed, go as fast as your bike can possibly go. It's a it's a blast. So I don't know if you noticed the little cut there. So this is actually on lap two, so I'll be going a little bit slower. The reason being is my GoPro battery actually uh, shut off right there on the straight stretch. So I just went ahead, come around second lap, I wanted to get the rest of the course. And, uh, started recording the same spot my camera died. A little bit of a sketchy pass there on the right in the dirt, but I got around the guy. It's still fun, but yeah, definitely sketchy.
You can tell at this point I'm getting pretty dang god darn tired. Um, yeah, I was really uh, not happy when I found out they did this section of the course again this year because last year I actually hurt myself pretty bad on this section of the course. Um, hooked my tire and went over the bars and it was not good. Um, you can tell shortly after this, just going for the whoops and stuff, I just don't have any energy left on reserve. But then again, this is lap two. I got one more lap in after this and that's how I finished the race with three laps. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it at this point, so I'm in no immediate rush to get anywhere in this race, so I just pop right up into this field here. There's a trail worker there that was kind enough to give me a cold bottle of water, uh, sat around and talked for a little bit, got ready for this hill climb, and of course, uh, headed out after that and hit the hill climb, and I didn't have too many issues, but as you can see, going up it, there's a few guys stuck. It's a, it's a pretty big hill. It's not an easy, uh, not an easy hill to get up, especially when it's all broken down and loose. You can tell I'm getting really sloppy making some mistakes getting to the top of the hill here. Um, and that's just because I'm getting really tired at this point. You know, but that's okay. That's 100% okay, because I'm not the only one that's tired, because everybody's tired. Anyhow, let's keep going. And like I said earlier, what happens when you start getting fatigued, you start making mistakes, and when you make mistakes, you fall down. At least seeing this guy off to the side of the trail here lets me know I'm not the only racer at this point having issues. Um, I'm not alone in this, but you know, he got to look at the bright side. At least I made it to the finish.
Uh, what's your name? Jeremy Smith. And where you from? Interview or you go back behind? Oh, nice. Interview. Interview. Yeah. Interview. Hello. Hey, was uh. The day was interesting. It was a good race, got three laps in, it was rough. But hey, I did it, made it happen, it was a blast, and I'll be back again next year to rain hell upon everybody. <laughs> How many laps? Awesome. Three. Three laps, nice Three laps, I can't wait to see this you gotta put on YouTube. I will. All right, Yay. three laps. Well, that's the end of the race, as you can probably tell. It's, a, it's about a week later. I'm in the garage here. We got a few projects going on. But yeah, that was a bit of a rough race. I hope you enjoyed how I trimmed it down. I got free laps in this year. It was a great year. Had an awesome time. Next year, I hope to come back and kind of redeem myself just a little bit. I didn't get very much seat time this year, but I'm happy with my results this year. And I look forward to being back next year. And anyhow, until next time, you guys stay safe out there. Don't do anything I would do. You know, keep your wheels on the ground, that, that sort of jazz. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.